Hi, Tony here for Lightwave Digital. So with this top tip, we're going to be looking at the bevel tool. So under the multiply tab, you go down to bevel. The bevel tool bevels polygons on an object. So if you've got the bevel tool selected and you've got no polygons selected, it will bevel all the polygons in the scene. So for instance, if I just in my top view, click and drag up, and then to my left, you'll notice it's beveled all the polygons. Now, with the actual bevel tool, there's a numerical. So if you go back down to the bottom uh, and click on numerical or N on your keyboard. And this shows you the numerical. So I've done the shift of 30 and the inset of uh, 20 millimeters, like so, on this whole object for each polygon. So... At this stage, let's go and create another uh, bevel. So I'm going to press the space bar to drop the tool. And then I'm going to select with my polygon option at the bottom. Let's select, uh, let's select the top poly. So I'm holding shift on my keyboard so I can select more than one poly. Go back to the bevel tool. And then I'm going to click... I'm going to pull up a new bevel like so. Now let's say I'm happy with that bevel, but I want a new one. You simply can either double click the B on your keyboard or you can right mouse click and this, this creates a new bevel like so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep clicking the, every so often the right mouse button to create new bevels like so. And you can carry on doing this all the way up. And then when I'm happy, space bar to drop it, deselect, and then I've created the style I want. So let's carry on with that. So if I collect or select the bottom polygons of the letters, let's uh, bring up the numerical for the bevel. And when I when I do this, and I start to manipulate the actual polygons by beveling on them, you can do it numerically. So you can actually type in the number, or you can drag the sliders. So for the inset, it's going up and down. Sorry for the shift, up and down, and then the inset. Let's bring it out so they're nearly touching, like so. And also, let's tell it to this bottom bit. I want it to be in a surface. I'm just going to put a. I'm just going to put one in, so it's got, it's got its own surface, and that will be added to the surface editor, like so. And then let's right mouse click and add another section, like so. So I've got this nice section at the bottom, like that, which is all looking quite cool. When I'm actually creating a bevel. If you only want to bevel in one or shift in one direction, so let's say for instance if I reselect these bottom polys, go to my bevel tool. If you hold down the control key on your keyboard, whichever way you pull, if it's up or down, side to side, it will lock the actual way you're actually beveling. So for instance, if I drag up and down, it's locking to the shift. So if I go side to side lock, it won't do anything because I've hold the control to lock it. So if I was to let go, hold down control again, and then drag to the left, it won't let me drag up lock. It's only inserting. So the control blocks the direction and which way you want to actually bevel it on the shift or the inset, which is quite a nice little little tool if we look on if we look under the surface editor you'll know there's a new surface one that we create for this so if we just drag one of the rgbs and drag it side to side you can see it changes that surface for you i would say that the bevel tool is probably one of the most used tools that people could use like constantly uh, there are lots of other ways to bevel in Lightwave, which we'll look at in other top tips. But that's the bevel tool. 
look out for the next top tip.